Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use toast notifications in your Android native script application. So if you're familiar with some of my other native script tutorials, you know that I that I already did a tutorial uh, that made use of finding the application version uh, within your application, so your Android application. And you'll know that I did this by interfacing JavaScript with native Android. Uh, like that tutorial, we're also going to do the same with this tutorial. Uh, so yes, there is a plugin available that will do this for you uh, that you can download for your native script application. Uh, but really, it isn't very difficult to do this by interfacing the code yourself. Um, and that's what I want to prove in this application. Uh, I was also inspired to make this tutorial because I saw a similar one using the Android snack bar notification. So both of these notifications are very popular in Android development. Um, and you'll find that they're incredibly beneficial um, when you make your apps. So that's, that's what kind of inspired me to make this Toast notification tutorial. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and create a new project on our desktop. So we're going to say TNS create example project. And it just created it on my desktop. So the thing to note about this, in case you're wondering, iOS has no concept of a Toast notification. Uh, this is an Android thing. Yes, you can uh, hack together your own kind of Toast notification, uh, but it'll never truly be uh, native to how Apple intended because Apple never had a Toast notification. Uh, and that's all right, but for this tutorial, we're going to stay strictly Android. Uh, so we're keeping it how native intended to be. So we're going to say, uh, we're going to navigate into that project. We're going to say TNS platform add Android. All right, perfect. Now we can open up that project directory. And we want to navigate into app. And let's just go ahead and open the app directory uh, inside of one of our text editors. In this case, I'm going to be opening it in uh, Atom. I'm going to close out all of this other stuff. Uh, keep it simple here. Uh, before we start jumping into the source code of the native script app, I want to go over really what how how to do toast notifications in native Android because you'll see it'll make a lot more sense once you know how to do toast in native Android to do it in native script. So I'm going to open up a new document. We're not going to save it. It's not going to be part of our project. It's just for demonstration purposes. So in Android, what you do to show toast notifications is you would say import android.widget.toast. So that's the toast class. And to use the toast class, you would do something like this. Toast.make text. Uh, you would say get application context. And you would type in a message. Let's say hello world. And then you determine how long you want to show the notification for. So let's say toast dot length long. There's also a length short. I believe short is three seconds and long is five seconds, but don't quote me on that. Just know that long is going to display longer than short. After you have that, then we can go ahead and uh, make use of the show function. And when you call that, then it'll display the toast notification and it'll disappear after its allocated amount of time. And that's all there is to a toast notification in native Android. So now that we have this out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at how this would look in native script. Uh, so starting with your main page.js, we're going to go ahead and, and first include a dependency. So we're going to say var application equals require application. And this will allow us to access the application context that we defined right here. Uh, so it's, it's required when working with this particular type of notification. Let's go ahead and add a new line here. We're going to create a new function. Let's call exports.showToast equals function args. All right. Before we start populating this function, let's go ahead and open our main page.xml. We're going to strip out a lot of this stuff. So we're going to strip out the labels. This is going to be a basic application, so we don't need labels. We're going to leave the tap button, but we're going to change the function to be show toast. I'm going to 
to save. I'm going to go back to main page. So because Toast is Android only, uh, we have to do a check, a check to make sure that we're using Android before we try to display the Toast notification. So we can say var page equals args.object. And yeah, you could uh, just make this global if you wanted, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it inside of this function anyways. So I'm going to say if page dot Android. So that's how we know it's an Android device that's using this application. Uh, we could easily do an, an else uh, and say just display an alert instead uh, for all other platforms, but that's entirely up to you. We're not going to go there for this. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to start just doing the Android Toast notification. So we're going to say var toast equals Android dot widget dot toast. So as you can see here, I've defined this just to the toast variable. And this right here is the exact import I used in native Android. So no surprises there. On a new line, now I'm going to say toast dot make text application dot android dot context hello world toast length long dot show so you can probably tell that this is pretty much identical to the native android one that we built the only exception here is instead of git application context we're using the context that we found inside this dependency so go ahead and save that Go back into your terminal here, and we're going to build this project. So we're going to say TNS run Android. And while that's building, I'm going to open my simulator, and we're going to see this in action. All right, it just loaded in our simulator. Now, if there's no errors, if I made no typos or anything, when I click this button, it should show the notification. So fingers crossed here. Tap. There we go. Toast notification. It should show it for a couple seconds. I did the long one. I didn't, I didn't count how long that was, but the, the point of the matter is that it worked. And more importantly is we were able to use this native platform feature by interfacing it with JavaScript. Uh, that's something that you can't see in other native uh or not native, any other hybrid frameworks. You'd have to jump through a lot of hoops and really understand native development in order to make plugins. But with native script, uh, it makes it very easy to be able to use these native device features.